Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster 14, and yeah, finally Link starts to shiver. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed a couple side quests around Clock Town that could only be completed on the night of the first or second day. I personally did them on the night of the second day. And we also made it here to Snowhead. In this episode, I'm going to be starting off by showing something that, that can be found in this boulder. You will always find a fairy in that snow boulder right there, and it's very easy to get, so you can just get that. To start things off, we're going to be heading towards that temple. And I'm going to stop right now because I don't trust myself that I can make it all the way up to that temple rolling. Sometimes I can do it, but most of the times so I just fail miserably. And of course, those, an those annoying white puff enemies keep spawning, keep annoying you. Like that boulder, or snowball, or whatever you prefer to be called. I don't think any of these boulders contain anything. I'm just punching them so they don't annoy me. And yeah, we are finally here. Welcome to Snowhead Temple, the second dungeon of the game. Go up here, punch these icicles out of the way like a boss. Hmm, this is kind of big. It's gonna take some more. It's gonna take more than average strength to move. It. So yeah, we have to use our Goron mask to move it because Gorons are stronger than humans or Deku. Whoa, he just died. I don't even think I punched him. Like, the wolf host? I don't think I punched him. And can you please get out of the way? Thank you. Let's open this door. And already we can see that there's a stray fairy down there. So we're obviously going to want to pull out our great fairy's mask and our bow. How is it not hitting? And of course I'm walking through lava. Now can I please hit this stray fairy? There we go. That happened to me when I was practicing too. Like it, like it wasn't registering. Out, out here we have another stray fairy. Right there, it's actually coming down to me. I was always like, is it not coming down? Anyway? If you remember... If it, if you remember this dungeon was he The last dungeon, Woodfall Temple, was heavily based around using the mechanics of the Deku Mask. And if you, can, if you can guess that but that foreshadows, we're going to be using the Goron Mask on. What do you have to say, Cal? Let's literally play... As little bit like this, you can crop as a Goron and roll out right across. Don't you? Let me try it. Yes, I'll try it. Yes, we need to do an epic Goron roll across. Now we want to go through here. We have a kind of hidden straight fairy. As well as a real bomb shoot. The only way you can defeat these is by using your shield. Hey, Blue Rupee. If you look down at the bottom, and if you could hear the chimes, we're almost done. We're almost to dawn of the final day. You got the thing. You got the dungeon map. Press start to open it, and yada yada yada, something like that. So yeah, we now have the dungeon map of Snowhead Temple. Y you can see it's a lot bigger than than Woodfall Temple because it has four floors and a basement. And if you look, that one central room is consistent on every single floor. Interesting. Jeez, way to make a jump, Link. You just fell. Alright, so apparently I have to go all the way back across because Link doesn't know how to jump. 
I mean, I, I guess it does make sense because in this game there isn't even a jump button. Because the way you actually jump is by walking off edges and hope for the best. Right, there we go. Wasn't that hard. Now through here... We're in that big central room. Now we go through... No, we go down here, and press the switch. That makes a chest appear in the lava over there, which should be burning up because it's a, it's a wooden chest in lava, and excuse me, sign and fire thing. Alright, nice, another stray fairy. This is our fourth one. Alright, so the last stop I want to make before we end this video off is, I believe... I believe it's over here. Oh, they already have my arrows out. And also, when it's the final day, the ground is going to start shaking, and... It's not the way I wanted to go, this just brings us back to the main room. Alright, I believe this is the way I want to go, in this yellow framed door. Alright, yeah. This thing we can actually surprisingly move as a human, despite the fact that it's like two blocks on top of each other. So we push the blocks over here. I'm not sure why every block in the game has an imprint of, or silhouette of Majora's Mask on it. I really don't get that. Push it in that section right there, and that makes it just appear right there. But it doesn't look like we can get to it, but we might want to remember it for later if we ever find a way, a way to get to it. We open this chest up, and you got a small key! You can use it to open a locked door. Alright, so, I think that's all we're going to have time for in this episode. We got to Snowhead Temple and we completed a few things. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we'll be traveling further f through Snowhead Temple and finding a few more cool things. See you guys next time. McMaster, out.